I believe the best way to demonstrate the equipment that I plan to show you is to discuss the articles one by one. What you're about to see is the infantryman's full field pack. This is the basic carrier. It is known as the combat pack. It has a, a harness which fits over the individual's shoulders and keeps it uh, attached to his back. The inside is waterproofed and it contains the individual's toilet articles, his socks, uh, his uh, handkerchief, and other uh, personal possessions. Now attached to that is the cartridge belt. This belt houses the ammunition that the uh, rifleman carries. Uh, for instance, a clip of eight rounds goes in one of these little pockets. The holes on the bottom are for other articles to be attached, one of which is the uh, first aid pack. This fits on the, the cartridge belt, and inside is the first aid pack. We'll just take a look and see what's in here. It's a, uh, a package of sterile dressing, which uh, is used by the man in the event that he becomes hit and uh, will require some first aid. Attached also to the cartridge belt is the bayonet. This is a scabbard. It is attached to the cartridge belt at this point. The bayonet, and these are the places here where the uh, bayonet is attached to the rifle itself. Also on the cartridge belt is the canteen cover. The canteen, which holds roughly a quart of water, is made of aluminum, and the canteen cup. The canteen cup is used by the individual in eating and drinking. Now, in addition, we have uh, the mess kit, which the individual carries in another article, which I'll show you. This is, has two compartments for dessert and soup, and has the knife, fork, and spoon, all of which collapses and makes a neat package which goes in the individual's uh, pack. We have here next the infantryman's friend, the entrenching tool. This also connects with uh, to the cartridge belt. This can be used as a shovel in this particular position, or it can be used as a pick when broken uh, like this. It fits into a neat pack and is carried on the man's back on the combat pack. The helmet itself is made up of two parts, the steel portion and the liner. Now, the liner is where the adjustments are made to fit the individual's head. This is made of plastic and is worn normally in camps, posts, or stations, and when there, when there is no combat. The steel portion, of course, is used when the bullets are flying. This is, uh, has many uses, can be used as a bucket in carrying water, and it is used as uh, more or less of a wash basin by the men in the front lines. We have the raincoat, which goes in the pack of uh, excellent material and very hard to, to wear out. Last but not least, but one of the largest items, is the, the cargo pack. Now, in the cargo pack, the individual's carries a shelter half, or if you will, a half of a tent. He, with another man, getting together, farm a whole tent, and two men live in this tent uh, when they're out in the field. Here is one pole, and here are four or five tent pins to help put his portion of the shelter half up. He carries in here his blanket. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, in one big display. I'm sure you'll agree with me that our rifleman is the best equipped man, fighting man in the world. In that connection, I am positive that if our men are properly trained, if he is properly led, and in the event that he can develop a pride of unit, individually and collectively, besides being the best equipped, he's the best fighting man in the world.